Hello everyone. Well, I'm finally out of China. I'm walking around uh, in the street in Narbonne, south of France. And uh, I'm going to walk towards the castle. Yeah, it's a little village here, but it's a very ancient city. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a shock to go from uh, China to France. It's a, <laughs> it's a culture shock. So final verdict on China. I mean, I was there for seven months. Before that, I was there for years. Uh, first time I've been there was in 2004, I think. So on and off for many years. So what do I think now? Well, I think uh, back in 2007 up to 2008, the country was opening up and uh, people were very friendly and I liked it. You know, I really liked it. And things slowly changed. And now with the COVID and uh, them being afraid of foreigners and the country closing up a little bit, I mean, overall, it's still a good place and people are overall very friendly. It's a safe place for sure. Look at this great ball. <laughs> uh, I, I still I still like it, but it might not be really for me. I mean, I always had trouble with work, okay, I mean, in a specific position. I might not be, I was not in the right city. So, I, I don't know, I mean, it depends if you live in Shanghai or Hong Kong or Beijing, even though right now they have some closure due to COVID, I think overall your life can be pretty good and pretty safe. Uh, I think in the past 10 years also, China has improved dramatically. It went from very polluted, very noisy to much less pollution. In some in certain case, very good. Uh, the noise pollution is gone completely. People are behaving better with the bicycles and the, and the electric bikes and things like this. So it is, uh, you know, oh, look at the little school here, very nice. So it is, uh, it is improving, it is getting better. They're working really hard at it, so, but, you know, it's still not my culture. The way people do things and the way and the point of view. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's just different than mine. We have different definition of quality of life. Look at this castle. So therefore, it's, it's hard to really connect with people, at least for me, because we, we're different. And uh, I don't know. I. I, it's a safe country though. I mean, there's no crime or anything like that, but I don't know. I think for me, I'm, uh, I would rather, I would rather reconnect to France or Europe. It's, uh, I have deeper roots, you know, for the same reason that some uh, Chinese prefer, oh, talking about noise pollution. You know, some Chinese prefer living in China because it's their food, their connection, their culture, and things like this. You know, and it's, uh, you have to respect that. But I think for me, France and Europe is definitely my place. And I never really connected fully with, uh, with China. I mean, there's certain things that, you know, are hard for me to accept. I mean, I had a VPN, so I was able to connect to the internet but if I had to live the full Chinese lifestyle between the food uh, you know that's Chinese food okay you like or you don't like but it's there's not much else you know it's not like here where I can go to a restaurant and have food from all over the world so and uh, and the internet being blocked in most cases uh, it's just not me you know so again I'm not judging in that sense, you know, there is 1.4 billion Chinese who love Chinese food and are perfectly okay with the, the internet they have. And they're happy. We just have different level of happiness. Make sense? <laughs>